to talk a little bit about you, Andy, because uh, because um, um, Bob last night talked about how you had met him as a child. Yeah. And then many, many, many years came back and needed. Uh, he he had a checklist of this is what I want for Taylor for my next um, designer, my uh -huh. guitar builder at Taylor, and you fit all those. And he put it together that you're the same person. Tell that story. How did you meet well, Bob that first time, and how did you get started making it was, guitars? It was kind of funny because I had started really as a kid. My dad's a carpenter, mm -hmm. and both my parents are hobbyist musicians. So from a young age, I just combined the things that I loved. I was playing music, and I liked making things out of wood. And one day, my dad brought home a piece of wood that was big enough for me to cut a guitar shape out of. And so I built it, or tried to build it, and it blew up. But it kind of doesn't matter because I liked building it. And it really turned into a, like a habit that I couldn't quit. So for my entire life, I had never stopped building guitars. And I spent a lot of time playing music. I love playing music, and I love making guitars. And I had started my own company because I kind of realized at a certain point, well, I've got a several year waiting list. People like the guitars that I'm making. All my bills are paid. And I really love doing this. I guess I'm a guitar maker. <laughs> cool. That's cool. That's great. And then, uh, you know, backing up a little bit, there was one concert that Bob and I ended up sitting next to each other. And I was maybe. Who was it? What, what Harvey was it? Reed. It was okay. a Harvey Reed concert. And I really liked his guitar style. So I'd gone there and I had a uke with me that I'd built. And Bob saw that because we naturally, as people who have similar interests, you end up talking and you go, oh, well, oh, you like that too? Yeah, that's great, you know? And uh, so we'd, we kind of kept in touch. We'd and run how into old each were other. You at that time? I don't remember exactly, maybe 16, 15 years old, right. something like that. I don't remember exactly. And then one year, I was playing with a, a friend of mine, and we ended, up, we ended up playing at the Taylor Guitar booth. Mm -hmm. and, and Bob and I, we kind of reconnected, and we spent some time together. And then a few months after that, he finally, I get this call out of the blue. He goes, Andy, come on down to the shop. We got to talk for a while. <laughs> I go, okay, okay, he's going to throw me in the wood chipper or something. <laughs> and uh, he finally he goes, look, he's like, you're a, you're a guitar maker. This is what you're born to do. We need to work together because you and I are too much alike to not, to not do this. And he's like, you're a better player than I am. It's like, it sounds odd to say, but he, he thinks I'm a better guitar maker than he is. So, I thought, okay, we think about it. But in the end, the reason that we decided, yes, this is the right fit, is he, said, he told me, you can build guitars and make a handful of instruments and make a handful of musicians happy every year. Or you can take those same ideas those same instruments and your desire and ability to make a guitar and put it into the hands of thousands of musicians and thousands of audiences every year and make their lives better. So we decided, you know what, for the next generation going forward, this is a noble pursuit. We want to build better instruments and put them into the hands of musicians. For one, because we love making better guitars and hearing them. And two, we love music. And we want to make a more, we want to enhance the musical experience for guitar players everywhere. Great, great. 